Hey everyone, this is Chris. It is still the holidays, so I decided I would take a shot at making another Lord of the Rings video. We are going to be playing a pretty janky Gondorless Gondor build using New Frodo and Pillars of the Kings to hopefully achieve valor and then stay there safely. We've also got Gildor and Glorian, represented by this wonderful paper proxy here. My two-player starter set is somewhere. I use it to teach new players, and I honestly do not remember where I put it the last time I taught someone. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going up against the River Running, first quest from the latest deluxe expansion. Hopefully not too bad, although if the deck gets off to a really slow start, could just get run over by Easterlings right away. I am also a little out of practice, so if I make more rules mistakes than usual, bear with me. Well, let's get started. Uh, uh, we are not idle in my opening hand, which draws me a Gandalf. That's pretty useful. Um, so if I do... I could get good value out of this. Cost me two threat, but that's probably okay. Hmm. Oh, this could be dangerous, but let's try it. Spend one from Gildor to draw a card. Perfect. Uh, the card that I got was Steward of Gondor, which I'm going to play on Gildor. Immediately triggered to get those two resources right back. Uh, now I feel like I'm in a better spot. A2 for Herald of Anorian, who is normally supposed to help me cheat in... Uh, Wardens of Healing, but I don't have one of those right now. So instead, I'm going to raise my threat by two to cheat in a Soldier of Gondor. This could get very bad very soon, but I think we'll be all right. Uh, and I'm going to use these two for a very good tail right away. Technically have to shuffle, even though I have no idea what is in this deck or in what order. If I had an opponent, I would then present it to them to cut, but that is not the sort of game this is. All right, we got one. That's a good start. Two, three, four. I don't mind seeing the steward gone here. I only have four, so I'm not going to bring in the squire. It's a question of whether I would rather have Knight of the White Tower or Aristor. And I think with Steward and Gandalf and the Pillars of the Kings in my hand, I'm going to bring in Knight of the White Tower instead. All right, so let's move on to questing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight committed to the quest from me, uh, up against four in the staging area. There's a good chance I will fail here, but hopefully not. Uh, I'm going to put Theodred's resource on Frodo, and I'm going to use it immediately to stand up Theodred. He's the only one of these heroes that I would expect to be able to take even a basic hit. Uh, so, yeah, eight up against four, and we reveal Rolling Plains. All right, eight on eight means we match. I didn't fail, and my threat does not have to go up. does also mean that I can't easily travel to either of these locations right now, so I'm just going to leave them. And we're going to move on. Uh, I do have to take one archery damage from Easterling Raider. It goes on Gildor. I do have to put one resource token on Easterling Pursuit. So overall we're at seven right now. And my threat goes up by one in the refresh phase because I did not successfully manage to trigger Frodo's ability to keep it where it is. Draw a card for the round. Okay, see now we're getting to the point where I'm starting to consider triggering Pillars of the Kings and just going with it. Uh, if I get a sneak attack, I'll be in great shape. And even if not, I could play this Veteran of Osgiliath, and the two of them could do most of the work on the Easterling Raider. 
Yeah, let's chance it. All right, we're gonna play Pillars of the Kings, boost my threat up to 40. Draw myself four cards in the process. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, let me spend one from Gildor to draw a card, because I don't think I'm gonna Gandalf this round. Because we are not idle to draw another card. And there's a sneak attack. So with that, I feel like we are in very good shape. And three resources, put a Veteran of Gilead into play. And at this point, I think what I will do is Herald Minorian and Soldier of Gondor play another A Very Good Tale. Uh, at this point, if we get a Knight of the White Tower or Faramir, uh, we're in great shape. Can't get Gandalf with this, but with one in my hand, I'm not so worried about it. We might burn a sneak attack, but that's okay too. Here we go. Uh, one, there's that sneak attack, there's that Faramir. All right, that was not bad at all. Discard all of these, puts Faramir into play. He is going to ensure that we absolutely crush this quest. So, moving on to the quest phase. I am going to sneak in a Gandalf for this. That favors the Valar because I shuffled my hand. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do with Gandalf this phase? Play him next turn to draw cards if I want, or just draw cards, pop in an Anborn. I think, I think I will draw cards. Easterling, nah. I'm gonna quest with most everyone, so I'm gonna kill this Easterling Raider. Drop two threat out of the staging area. Actually gonna save these two back, I guess, for surprise combat. So we're gonna send three, four, five, six, ten. Uh, and I'll use Farmir to make it 14. Up against five total in the staging area. <laughs> Alright, well, doomed one kinda sucks. Each exhausted character minus one willpower. So that drops four off of my current total, because Theodred is ready. We do still succeed by five. Drops my threat by one, thanks to Frodo. Uh, I can't travel to River Running, so we're going to travel to Rolling Plains. Raise my threat by two more. Uh, Gandalf back in my hand after the quest phase. Refresh brings us up to 43. Two on Easterling Pursuit. Threat in the staging area is now four. Willpower doesn't matter right now. Generate some resources for the round. Draw a card. There's a Warden of Healing. Uh, I am somewhat tempted to drop in Favor of the Velar right now. I don't think we're likely to doom that much. Instead, I'm going to spend one to draw a card. Strength of Arms is phenomenal. Do that means I can't play any more allies this round. So instead, I am just going to drop in another Veteran of Elsgiliath. Good willpower, good combat stats overall. Pretty choice. Uh, and next round, I'll be able to play a second Knight of the White Tower, leaving one on Gildor. So let's quest. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Armir makes it 13. Seems fair. Uh, we are going to get another enemy at the end of the round, guaranteed. So 13 against four. Seven. When it attacks, we do a thing that's 
not great, but also not too bad, depending on what we get off of Easterling. No, I guess we don't get anything off of Easterling Pursuit because he comes down first. I'm clearly not used to playing a high threat deck at all. All right, seven against 13, I make six progress. Four on Rolling Plains and two on the main quest. Brings us up to seven of 10. I will travel to River Running, engaging this Warrior of Rune. He gets a Shadow card. I have a total of eight attack right now to swing back at him. Did also successfully quest, so Frodo drops my threat. Uh, Knight of the White Tower defends. No shadow effect is good. So, six, eight. That gets rid of the Warrior of Rune. And I think we just move on. So, still at 43 threat. It's a little higher than I would like. All right. He's up to three, and they all go away. Causing me to shuffle everything again. I do enjoy this sort of thematic, we get an enemy every time. We don't know what attachments they have, because we might have discarded a bunch of stuff that wasn't there before. But it is a lot of shuffling. All right, discard until we get an enemy. That was super fast. All right. We're up to four resources on Gildor, moving into this next round. Through another Gandalf, which right now I don't think we need, but it's still pretty nice. Spend four for a Knight of the White Tower. Uh, and at this point, we're looking at one threat in the staging area. So let me quest somewhat conservatively. Send six, seven, eight. Uh, I can trigger Faramir to make it more if I need to. Considering we're at one threat, I'm not going to stress out about it. That is plus two. So I'm going to make five progress, which is just enough to clear the river running. Basically exactly what I wanted. Um, because I'll travel to a second river running, forcing me to engage the Easterling Outrider. I'm going to have put another resource on Easterling Pursuit. Uh, my threat does go down by one because I quested successfully. Knight of the White Tower defends against this Outrider. Gets a horse, which has no shadow effect, so there's no damage. Only takes three damage to kill the Outrider. And we're pretty good. Pick up two 43 threat in the refresh phase. Standing up all of my very cramped allies. Two resources on Easterling Pursuit. Drawing my card for the round, sitting at two threat in the staging area. Do a bunch of resources this time. All right, uh, I'm gonna put in a Citadel Custodian who is by far the worst ally in the deck, except he is completely free. It's hard to argue with free. A1 to draw a card. Ooh, reinforcements is very good. Um, up, 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 up. It's been so long I've even forgot if there's a restriction on a very good tail, and there is not. Might as well move to the quest phase. Spend three for reinforcements, putting in Gandalf and Warden of Healing. Uh, Gandalf is going to draw me three cards. One, two, three. Well, none of those were a very good tale, but that's okay. 
Warden is going to heal Gildor from that one archery damage. And I'm going to quest. Uh, once again, we're at two in the staging area. So we'll do this a little bit lightly. Send six, seven, eight. Up against two. Exhausts a character he controls and deals the damage to it. All right, Gandalf, that's you. I make six progress. Clearing the river running, adding one to main quest, to eight of 10. Uh, we are about to have an enemy come down at the end of the round. Do get to lower my threat by one, thanks to Frodo. So I guess we're just moving on to refresh. <laughs> Taking it right back up to 43 threat. Easterling Pursuit triggers, and I shuffle one more time. By the way, this is clearly my own fault. I picked the quest I was going to play. I picked a very good tail deck. I mean, I should just play some more shuffling cards to make this even more annoying. All right, discard until we get one enemy. That one I don't like, but at least the when revealed effect doesn't trigger. So it's not going to get a horse. It's just going to hang out. Moving on to the next round, up to four on Gildor. Two on everyone else. And I draw myself a card. Extra veteran of Osgiliath is really good. I could also just play another Pillars of the Kings to drop my threat back down to 40. Which actually would be pretty funny here, because it would allow me to quest successfully and duck right under the Rider of Rune. I don't think I'm going to do that. Spend two resources from Frodo for another Soldier of Gondor. Let's me get all the Gondor allies from the top five of my deck. At this point is a Herald of Anorian and a Warden of Healing. Shuffle the rest back in. Uh, since we have archery on the table, getting that Warden into play is going to be great. I don't think this quest punishes you too much for the number of allies. At least I haven't seen it. My threat is going to be pretty high at that point, though. So I'll spend two... Herald of Minorian, Doomed 2, bring out Warden of Healing. I will play another Citadel Custodian for free. Have Strength of Arms. Have Pillars of the Kings. As long as I don't get doomed, I can sort of hold out here for a little bit. Strength of Arms would allow me to use all my allies multiple times in combat if it comes to that. Pillars of the Kings, like I said, would get me to 40 threat. Could just play Favor of the Valar right now. I don't think I need that either. Uh, let's be bold. Spend a resource to draw a card with Gildor. Another Strength of Arms. So that's pretty good. Spend three and be extra bold. Bring out the third Veteran of Osgiliath. I got five threat to play with everyone. I think we're going to be fine. He says before he draws the worst encounter card in the deck. I, I don't even know what that is. Uh, but we are at two threat in the staging area once again. I can pretty trivially quest for eight. I make more than two progress, I advance, so I think I want to have all my allies ready for this. But let's see what we get. Rocky Outcrop. <laughs> Means I can't play Strength of Arms regardless. So, good choice, me. Brings us up to five in the staging area. I make three progress, clearing out, chased by Easterlings. Moving on to stage two. 
ended quest successfully, so my threat goes down by one. When revealed, add Warriors of the East to the staging area. Shuffle the discard pile back into the deck and discard until I add an enemy. Uh, truthfully, I think next round we are just going to quest through. I don't... I don't see how we get to the next round with this board without just blowing through all of this. Uh, but it does depend a little bit on what I get here. Could potentially take a lot of damage this round from this Rider of Rune. Actually, I really should seriously consider what I'm going to defend against him with. I don't really want to lose one of the Knights of the White Tower since they're so strong. All right, but until then, <laughs> discard until we get an enemy. It is Warrior of Rune. They do have very unique names, obviously. So, travel phase, I will travel to the Rocky Outcrop, which does allow me to ready again, but I don't have the resources. I have to exhaust Theodore to make that happen. I am certainly not going to choose Warriors of the East as my main quest, most likely. And I have to engage both of these enemies, so we'll just do that. Uh, there are no attachments in the discard pile, so I don't have to deal with any of that. Take a couple of points of archery damage on the Citadel Custodians, who are wonderful archery soaks. All right, Soldier of Gondor defends Rider of Rune. He is definitely going to die. Ardur's Journey has no shadow effect, though, so that's fine. Move these off to the side for now. Soldier of Gondor, again, defending Warrior of Rune. Attach the top Easterling Treachery in the discard pile to attacking enemy on the other Warrior of Rune. There aren't any, so that's fine. Soldier of Gondor is definitely dead again. Uh, and now to see how we can fight back. I have 1, 10, 14 attack. And there is 14 health worth of enemies. Did I math that right? Hang on. All right, six, seven. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So four, five, six, seven, takes out Warrior of Rune. One, six, makes seven to take out Rider of Rune. All these characters are exhausted, but we're just about to ready them up again. So, Warden of Healing heals off that archery damage, and we refresh, sitting at a cool, casual 45 threat. Draw my card for the next round, put one resource on Easterling Pursuit at the end of the previous one. Three on Gildor, one Theodrid, one Frodo. Card is Dudadine Remedy, which is great. And at this point, can't do very much. So we're just going to move on to questing. Forgot to flip this to side 2B. While at least one player is engaged with an enemy, no more than five progress can be placed here each round. As you may notice, there are no enemies in play. We are looking at zero threat in the staging area. Almost off the edge of this playmat, but not quite. And I've got two Strength of Arms in hand, so spend one off of Gildor to draw a card. Hoping for sneak attack, but that's okay. And at this point, we're just going to quest with everyone, ready them up, exhaust Farmir, ready him up. It's going to be good. So, one, two, three, four, five, eleven. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23. Spend two resources, strength of arms, to ready up all those allies. 
putting at 23 right now. Not the heroes, although the Frodo Theodrid combo is going to ready Theodrid. I will exhaust Faramir to add 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, up to 37. And because I didn't need to use this yet, play another Strength of Arms just to refresh Faramir and add another cool 13. Uh, brings me up to exactly as many willpower as I can track, even though the rolling of this playmat is not cooperating here. <laughs> it's 50. We have 50 willpower up against no threat in the staging area. I think we're going to make it. Easterling Horse surges into River Running, bringing us up to a whopping two threat in the staging area. I think we did it. Uh, by my count, that is 48 progress, of which three clears out this rocky outcropping, and the remaining 45 spills over onto the main quest, leaving 30 extra. All right, everyone, that was fun, filling up this giant Gondor swarm, dealing with a higher threat than I basically ever do at any other time. So hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. I hope you have a very happy new year. Thanks for watching.